Alrighty, so what's up Yacht Fam? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got me and my dad back there. We are currently going down to Mathers Bridge here in Indian Harbor Beach, Florida. And yeah, basically we live close by. We've been going down there almost every single night looking at the bioluminescence. There's been tons of bait fish and action going on. So we're gonna go ahead and get up under the bridge, test out the shrimp lights, and kind of just give a shakedown before shrimping season starts. But we're gonna try and get some trout, maybe some redfish. We're just, we got some live shrimp and some dead shrimp. And then we might try and, try and get some pilchards if they are down there. And yeah, we're basically just gonna go have a good time and see what all we can bring up. guys so before it gets too dark here kind of what we're doing is we got this area right here we're right underneath the bridge as you can see we're working on putting out a shrimping light here my dad's working on rigging some stuff up and then we have another shrimping light that we may put out on this side or we may rock it out the back of the boat but yeah before it got too dark i just want to kind of give you guys the rundown of what we got going on here A little bit better in size. Pretty. Moving up. Like Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to give you a little rundown. So we got these live shrimp that I showed earlier, but as you can see, we got two bigger ones in there. So we weren't expecting it, but we did bring the, ship, the shrimp lights just in case, and we did happen to see a couple of shrimp, so we went ahead and got those, which is sweet. We weren't expecting that, so my dad's got the shrimp net up now trying to catch some. But, uh, but then we also got a big blue crab right when we got here. Oh, there we go. He just got another one. Can you speak? You can kind of see it in there. We'll get real close. Very nice. All right, so now we got three on the boat. So we got about $12 of the $15 appetizer. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got those three shrimp. Um, it's been a little slow with the shrimp. We did have from the bait store because they're literally like this big. So there's been a bunch of pilchards swimming around. We're going to see if we can't throw a couple cast nets here and get some better bait in the boat. Alright y'all, so we got this little pilchard that we just got in the cast net. We just wanna hook them right in the back. Put the back in just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead here and give them a little love toss. Leave the bail open a little bit, move this rod out of the way. Look up here and just see if we can't catch something. I think we've landed about five trout so far tonight, but they've all been pretty small. I would say the biggest one was probably, what do you think, 12, 13 inch range? Maybe, about that. Somewhere in there. We just have small bait. Right. I'm sure hopefully the bird gives us something else. Right. We don't want to give up our shrimp that we caught. Right, exactly. So we'll see. All right, so the last big bait that we threw out, it didn't really do much by the bridge. So we went ahead and putted down to this marina that was a, a couple hundred yards away. And we went ahead with the cast net. We were able to get some more good sized pilchards. So now we have a way better number of them. So we're going to try and just throw some live bait in these docks here and see if we can't get anything to come on up. I'm going to reel it in and throw them by this dock real quick, or by this under this boat real quick. Got one. 
Oh my goodness, it is a catfish. All right, guys, so we went ahead and after that catfish threw a couple more casts. We're pretty demoralized from that, so we moved back to the south side of the bridge that we were on earlier. So as you can see, right under there, we were on the other side of this bridge all night. So now we're trying this other side. We heard a bunch of stuff blowing up here earlier. So got a couple lines out. We're gonna see if we can't make something happen here. See, that's a fish. Sir, I do. Come on. Oh my God, it's a catfish again. Huh? Yeah, it's a catfish again. Jeez. Oh my gosh. That is so disheartening. Alrighty, you guys. So after that catfish, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night here. I don't know if that's. Showed up on the screen, you can see right there, it is 12.55 in the morning, and we got out here before the sunset. So we've been out here giving it our best effort for quite a while now. But with the three shrimp we did go ahead and catch, we're gonna go pick up some shrimp from Publix tomorrow, and we're gonna do a taste test between the two and see if they are, how much better they are than Publix store-bought shrimp. All right, what's up guys? We're back and we are in the kitchen. So when we went to Publix, we went ahead and we got um, the wild-caught shrimp. We went ahead and got jumbos so we could compare between our wild caught ones that we had. We didn't want to go get some, some little ones that would be, you know, just not even compete at all. So the jumbo ones we did get are a little bit bigger than the ones we caught last night, but it's early in the season. And I think once we cook them, we're going to be able to see the taste of the ones that we caught yesterday are just going to be absolutely elite to anything that we bought at Publix today. Alrighty guys, so we're going to keep it simple here. As you can see, all we've done is we peeled and then de-veined all of these. These are going to be the ones we got from Publix here on the bottom, and then these are the three that we caught last night. So immediately you can kind of tell these are more white, and these look more gray. But I do think these are gonna be tastier once we get them done. But I'll just kind of run you through what we're doing here. So we got our pan here, and then we're just gonna keep it simple. We got some butter, and then we're just gonna use some minced garlic, and then once we finish them off, we're gonna top them with a little bit of garlic salt. So we just got them all done here. We're sitting out at the table. These three over here are the ones that we caught and then these are the ones that we bought. We're gonna go ahead and start it off with the ones that we caught here. We'll go ahead and grab one. All right, cheers. Those are really good. <laughs> I would give those like a nine and a half out of ten. What do you say? Agreed. Agreed. They're really good. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and let's try these ones now. These let's ones look these. bigger. They they look like they're going to be better, but I, I just have a feeling they're not going to be. Yeah, I don't let's think see. so either. Bigger though. Not the same flavor. Not even close. They look like they should be, but they're not. They're not even close. I forget if they said in the store if these were frozen or not frozen, but they definitely taste like they were frozen. These have a fresh, juicier taste, and that one kind of has like sweeter. a- Sweeter, they're much yeah. sweeter. It has kind of like a watery aftertaste to it. So 
My vote definitely goes to these. You say the same? Yes, by far. Not even close. So there you have it, guys. These ones were much, much, much better in our opinion. So that's going to wrap it up for us today. I appreciate you guys being around for another video, and I hope to see you again soon. Don't you think so? Yeah, they're definitely. <laughs> that's what I was going to say.